up my fans? Happy New Year! And what am I going to do to start off the new year? By talking about 2010, of course. This week I'm going to be doing my top favorites of 2010 with movies, TV shows, video games, and to start off, the my favorite toy lines of 2010. So let's go f starting with num number 10, the Halo Reach a toy line by McFarlane Toys. They have really came out strong with the Halo Reach. Not only was one of my favorite video games of 2010, it's uh, number 10 on my top favorite toy lines. Not only have they given us amazing sculpted 334 inch figures, and they are 334 inch because you know Spartans are bigger than normal people. They gave us finally cool vehicles with the Warthog being one of my favorite out of this toy line, and then probably my second with uh, George here. And they're just great, fully articulated, very detailed, come with cool weapons that are uh, attachable to the body with the Warthog. Even though the price of these guys could be a little bit cheaper, it's still the detail and fun is there and definitely McFarlane delivered. Number 9, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 2010 line. Uh, technically this kind of came out in late 2009, but it was the 2010 line, so, but uh, between the, the ultra cool uh, new Megazord we got and uh, great figures of all the Rangers, and, and I finally got the White Ranger coming on the way, um, I have to say that Bandai finally made some of the best figures they've probably made in years. Uh, I definitely love this line. The new Megazord was pretty much like a reissue the old one, just slightly smaller without the chrome. But still, for people that missed out on one of the best shows of the 90s, they can just go into their local uh, Target, Toys R Us, and pick these guys up. And the, these action figures were nicely articulated, definitely up there. And I have to say, it just brings back the 90s. Go, go, Power Rangers! Number 8, the Star Wars Vintage line. Now, Star Wars came out in a big way this year for me because I haven't collected Star Wars figures since the 90s. But this year really brought me back and when one of my, my favorite Star Wars figure or toy of 2010 being the at -AT, the biggest uh, Star Wars toy to date and one of the best, hands down. Also, we got great new... Uh, Figures of like Boba Fett, which is in my uh, Slave One right now. We also got a good reissues of Tie Fighters, and and this guy won't shut up right now. But still, uh, wow, really. Anyway, um, the AT AT and the new Boba Fett that came out. My favorite uh, Star Wars figures of 2010. Number seven, the Toy Story movie line. Now I haven't collected Toy Story toys since uh, the 90s, which was another line that I haven't got. But between 2000, late 2009 and in 2010, we got some amazing figures. This one being my favorite Toy Story figure of 2010 is the Buzz Lightyear from the Disney Store that has the movie accurate uh, features like the karate chop. It has the talking um, features that you have here. If you'll talk with me, come on, Buzz, talk. There you go. See, and he has everything. He has his laser, and they gave us great Toy Story collection figures of Buzz Lightyear, uh, Woody, um, Jesse. Uh, we got uh, the Mr. Potato Head, which was my second fear, but my little brother has it. He he's just a swole brat. But anyway, um, but yeah, I, I love this line. Uh, one of the best movies of the year, and the toy. It was great to finally have accurate toys to a, a wonderful movie. Number six is a tie with the DC Universe classics and Green Lantern classics toy line since they're basically the same line but we got some great waves with the dark side wave we got the uh, validus wave uh, the ultra humanoid wave and of course the our kill wave for Green Lantern classics plus we got uh, which has one of my favorite figures of the year the Kyle Rayner figure I've been waiting for him for so long but one of my favorite figure from the line had to be the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Plastic Man. So much playability in this figure with another great sculpt by the Four Horsemen. And this sculpt keeps uh, keeps coming with lots of great waves, lots of great characters, lots of great figures with uh, Four Horsemen. Uh, Mattel definitely should always keep the Four Horsemen because they do an amazing job. Number five on my list is Marvel Legends. Finally, finally we got some new Marvel Legends this year. Fortunately, it was only six figures with uh, two variant sets of uh, four of the figures. But I have to say that Hasbro came strong with Marvel Legends. Not only were the sculpts amazing, the paint apps were just definitely spot on. Probably the best paint apps Hasbro has ever done for Marvel Legends. 
I love the Black Widow and um, Winter Soldier 2-pack the best, but I have to say I do love that Warpath Deadpool 2-pack a lot. Even though like uh, th these figures are probably two figures I was really excited for, especially to have a, nine, a sexy Black Widow, but has if they made more Marvel Legends this year, this would have been definitely higher on the list. So Hasbro, keep making these legends. Number four, Transformers reveal the shields last generations, whatever they're called, classics. Just just call them classics. Anyway, definitely ha uh, Hasbro has brought back one of my favorite Transformer lines. Who doesn't love G1 with better sculpts and better articulation? I, I know I do, and two of my favorites were definitely the ones that came out later this year, which was Jazz and Trax, two of my favorite characters in G1. Definitely Hasbro, please don't ever kill this line. I'm, I'm still waiting for Soundwave, and I can't wait for the upcoming, whatever you call them, they're called classics, and they're definitely the, the best Transformers line out there. I'm tired of freaking movie transformation uh, figures. Uh, those I can't stand. If I have to deal with another leader, Prime Mix Master, I'm just gonna. Ah! Number three, the Masters of the Universe classics. This is the He Man line I've been waiting for. And even though this year has brought up many heartache, thanks to MattyCollector.com. Oh, Maddie Collector. They gave us some of the best uh, figures out of this line, which came out the same month, which was Battle Cat and Trap Jaw. This Battle Cat is, oh my god. It, if you could have only one figure, this, this Battle Cat is, just has to be one of the best beast figures out there. Uh, the Four Horsemen has backed this line from the start, and their sculpts are just top notch. Uh, probably some of the best sculptors uh, ever. And the, with Trap Job having so many playabilities to make it make you can make him into Cronus. Oh, I mean this is definitely the best team in line we ever got in, will ever get. And with, now that I got a 2011 subscription, I don't have to deal with Maddie Collector every month. It's going to be a way more enjoyable experience collecting this line. Number two, Marvel Universe slash Iron Man 2 line. Now with the Iron Man 2 line, I love uh, the 334 Finch figures. That's probably why I started getting a lot more 334 Finch figures between that and Star Wars and Marvel Universe. With Iron Man 2, which was my gateway to Marvel Universe, we had way better paint apps than we did in Iron Man 2. Uh, one movie line, especially with the Mark II, great improvement. Uh, great uh, amount of articulation. And with those cool Iron Man um, Hall of Armor figures, we got cool little bases. But when they showed us the 6-inch line, that was a little uh, nod to what we would be getting in the Marvel Legends line. Great paint apps, amazing articulation, amazing sculpts. And with Marvel Universe, between getting this awesome uh, Galactus figure, yeah, I hunger for awesome figures, and that's what the Marvel Universe line did. I was hesitant to co collect Marvel Universe, but with so many great figures like the the World War Hulk uh, figure and just uh, like so many, like this was a line that I was hesitant to collect, but won me over with their great sculpts and great articulation. And if you're a three three four inch cl uh, collector. Um, Marvel Universe is probably the best line right now in that scale. Hasbro did an amazing job and they just showed the, so much love to Marvel with such amaz amazing lines this year. Before I go into my favorite toy line of 2010, let me tell you my worst. Definitely the, the most uh, disappointing were a lot of movie toy lines and I have to say the worst was the last Ender one, uh, toy line. Not only was the, the, the worst movie of 2010, at least in my opinion, but the toys just sucked. They had awful sculpts, um, that little airbender, like, bending thing, role-playing thing just broke out of the box, and just an awful toy line for an awful movie. And then also another disappointing toy line was the A-Team toy line. Awful sculpts, and the articulation wasn't there, and the van was okay, but it, it could have had used the A-Team van and more voice clips. It's just definitely very disappointing. And the number one toy line of 2010 for me? Hot Toys! Was there ever a doubt? Now I know I'm a little biased and this is not a line that you can just go in the store and get unless you have one of those lucky comic book shops that um, stocks these, but really, if you want the best representation of any character from a movie, video game, then Hot Toys is the way to go. My two favorite figures from this year that came out, or 2010, was the DX02 Batman with the uh, movable eyes and uh, sonar eyes and just the sculpt was amazing. W my favorite Batman figure I own currently and definitely 
my favorite figure of the year, the Hot Toys Iron Man 2 War Machine. Just with all the light up eyes, chest, hands, the posable fingers, the um, Gatling gun and uh, missile pod and everything. It, and it just, it just, these are true masterpieces. Hot Toys makes the best uh, figures out there, hands down. Uh, if Hasbro makes the best 3 3 4 inch figures, Hot Toys makes the best 1 6 scale figures. Definitely, if anyone that's a collector of anything, whether it's Batman, Iron Man, Resident Evil, or uh, any license that Hot Toys has, you definitely have to own a Hot Toys figure. They make the best figures, hands down. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite toy lines of 2010. What were yours? Let me know in the comments below. And stay tuned for my favorites of movies, TV shows, and video games this week. And you guys, let's start off 2011 with a bang!